Do you ever have the freest frag possible, but then all of a sudden you start lagging like this and you lose your team the round? I know this is a huge problem for many of my viewers, so in today's video, I'm going to help you guys fix this. And as always, guys, we got another Valorant Battle Pass giveaway going on, and all you have to do to enter is like this video and comment your thoughts on Valorant Tracker down below, who's by the way, today's lovely video sponsor, and help me give back to you guys. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to subscribe, it really helps out the channel. So most of you guys already know by now, I've been using Valorant Tracker for over a year and I use the guides tab to find all of my lineups and setups for every agent in the game. And it's got about double the lineups and setups that Blitz has available, which is why I personally recommend using it. You can also easily check your lifetime stats for your account, including your agents to see which agents you may struggle with and should probably avoid or which weapons you aren't the best with and should try to improve with. It also shows what maps you need to work on or which maps are your best, which will give you some insight on which aspects of your gameplay need the most work. It even has a match history tab to show you all of your recent games so you can see visually if you're having an off day and should take a break. The live match feature is also really awesome as you can see a visual breakdown of all the ranks and stats of your team and the other team while you're in game with them. If you want to help support the channel, do so for free by downloading Valorant Tracker from the link in the pinned comment or description. The first thing you're going to want to do before ever starting a optimization process, in my opinion, is creating a restore point in case you don't like any of the settings and you want to restore back to where you were at before uh, you started optimizing your PC. So in order to get there, open your search bar, type in create, you'll see create a restore point pop up, click this, and then simply just click create at the bottom, name it whatever you want, big Remy, and then just click create from here. You'll have this bar fill up and your restore point will be successfully created. After that, if you want to revert back any of the changes, you just click system restore and it'll set it back to whenever you created your restore point. So the first thing I'm always going to recommend is using Ethernet. Ethernet is generally recommended for playing Valorant because it provides a more stable and reliable connection compared to Wi-Fi. In online multiplayer games like Valorant, a stable and low latency connection is really crucial to ensure a smooth and responsive gaming experience. When using Wi-Fi, your connection can be affected by different factors like distance from your router interference and this can result in fluctuations in ping and packet loss which can cause lag stuttering and all sorts of issues to make it difficult to play the game on the other hand ethernet provides a more consistent and reliable connection with lower latency and packet loss this can also help ensure that your inputs are registered quicker and accurately this will allow you to react faster in game and give you a little bit of an edge overall while wi-fi can be sufficient for playing valorant if you have the option to use ethernet it's generally recommended for the best gaming experience possible. So the first thing we're gonna do is use TCP optimizer. I'm gonna shout out my boy Senna for this. Once you get there, go to this website and scroll down until you see TCP optimizer 4. You're gonna go ahead and download this. Now, once you have TCP optimizer, go ahead and open it and click run as administrator. Now, the first thing that you're gonna do here is change this sliding bar menu and we're gonna move it all the way to the right at 100 plus megabytes per second. And then we're gonna change our network adapter selection and make sure to select our network adapter that we're currently using. Next, go to your advanced settings and then you'll see these settings at the bottom and you're gonna select custom now what you're going to want to do is we're going to change some of these settings so for max connections we're going to change it to 10 and for the second one we'll change it to 10 as well for local priority we'll change it to 4 host priority 5 dns priority 6 net priority 7 and our max sin retransmissions to 2 and then have non-sac on disabled and our rto for initial we'll set to 2000 and our min rto 300 Next, we'll change our QoS, do not use NLA, to optimal one. Our network throttling will have its FF. Our default or our system responsiveness will change to gaming zero. Our frequency to disabled one. Our TCP no delay to enabled one. And our TCP all ticks to disabled zero. Next, for memory allocation, we'll change to default zero and size to default one. And finally, for max user port, we're going to change to 65534 and our TCP wait delay change to 32. After that, just simply click apply 
and then click the backup in case you would like to revert any of these settings. When you're done with that, just click OK and you're all done for this part. And I'd like to just give my boy Senna a quick shout out for those TCP optimizer settings. Make sure to check out his channel and show him some love. Okay guys, for this method, we're going to go to our search bar, type in CMD, you'll find command prompt, right click on it and then run it as administrator. Once you get this open, type in ping 1.1.1.1. And this will go through some data and it'll give you a minimum, maximum and average ping for this server. After you're done with that, type in ping 8.8.8.8 .8 and it'll do the same thing and what you're gonna do is you're gonna find your average uh ms between each server and see which one is better so for me 1.1.1.1 is better than my average on 8.8.8.8 .8 so once you've figured out what dns server you ping better to right click in the bottom on your internet and then open network and internet settings from here click on ethernet and then go to change adapter options find whichever server you're using and right click on it and click properties and then find ipv4 protocol and open up properties again then switch from obtain dns server automatically to use the following dns server addresses so if you pinged better to 1.1.1.1 for your preferred dns server you're going to put in one 0.1.1.1 and for your alternate dns server you're going to put in one 0 0.0.0.1 0 .0 and alternatively if you ping better to 8.8.8.8 you're going to change it to 8.8.8.8 and then for the alternate dns server 8.8.4.4 and once you finish this just click ok and you're all done with this part after you've changed your dns go to command prompt again and type in ipconfig space forward slash flush dns and then just click enter it'll flush your dns and that's all you have to do next in your google chrome settings come down to system and go to continue running background apps when google chrome is closed and make sure to close this this eats up some bandwidth in the background and you just don't want that if you have an unstable internet connection now we're going to turn off background apps here so to do this go to your start tab type in background you'll see background apps will pop up and Make sure to uncheck this. All of these applications that run in the background of your computer can eat up bandwidth and can cause you little lag spikes. We're gonna make sure that our firewall isn't throttling our Valorant connection. So open up your search bar, type in firewall and network protection. Find here, you'll see allow an app through firewall at the bottom, click this. From here, open change settings and then click allow another app at the bottom. Once you have this open, you're gonna go to your browse tab and you're gonna go to your C drive find the riot games folder click that then click riot client and then find riot client services double click this and after that just click add and you're all done next open up your run tab and then type in services.msc once you have this open you're going to scroll down until you find windows updates and once you find windows updates right click on it and click properties and instead of startup type on automatic change this to disabled this can make it so that Windows will update while you're playing and this can throttle your internet connection. After you're done with this, just simply click apply and you're done for this part. That's going to be all for today's video, guys. I hope it really helped you out. And if it did, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. I really appreciate all the support. We're on our road to 100k. Help me get there. Make sure to subscribe. And yeah, peace out.